Thanks for joining us, Jackie. Great to be talking with you. Uh, Jackie, uh, before we delve into detailed questions, could you talk a bit more about your background mm. and your endeavour into the disability sector? Sure. Um, uh, look, throughout my career, I've always been involved with the community sector, um, whether that's been through professional life or in, in a voluntary capacity, um, and whether that's been in community development type roles or in funding roles. And why the disability sector? Um, I, I suppose I'm a real believer in civil society. Lovely. And the important role that not-for-profits play in delivering critical human services, but more than that, mm. in, um, in providing the opportunity for citizen participation yes. and determination in our agenda. And so with the disability sector about to embark on the biggest social reform since Medicare mm -hmm. in terms of the NDIS, um, to be part of that and to be supporting those people who are directly impacted by that social reform um, is an opportunity too good to be to miss. You're right. I think that's, that's a fairly great point that and it's a big opportunity in terms of the transformation you want to achieve and as a community and as a civil society which has a very strong role to play in building the social fabric yes how we deliver how we care for our vulnerable yes and in terms of the viewpoint of your in what or your experience across community services what are the pressing issues the disability sector has seen in the past and what you can project coming in the future oh a crystal ball <laughs> question um Dev, I, I think what we're, what we're challenged with at the moment is that we're engaged with and impacted by a scheme that is still maturing and settling. Mm -hmm. And so that's been difficult. Mm -hmm. It also is an opportunity mm -hmm. in that it gives us the opportunity to engage with government, with policy makers, with decision makers, to see that scheme develop and mature mm -hmm. in a way that's effective. Yeah. Um, in terms of the future, um, I'm really optimistic about um, what we're seeing. We're seeing the, the review occurring. We're seeing the sector becoming more and more engaged in that, in that review. We've um, got opportunities like the summit where we can actually share information. And we're increasingly seeing um, people with disabilities themselves mm -hmm. become actually very engaged in, in conversation about the future of the scheme. The challenge is beyond mm -hmm. the NDIA. Mm -hmm. It's one part of the economic ecosystem. You're right. It's not all that there is. And I dream of the day when we're not talking about um, the agency or the scheme. And so, to take me back to um, challenges, I think one of the biggest challenges we have is to work with other parts of the economic ecosystem mm -hmm. to ensure that they don't abrogate responsibility to supporting people with disability mm -hmm. and just leave it to the NDIS. So it's the whole total health ecosystem. Absolutely. In, like, Absolutely. You know, the GP and the medical side of it and the, the community ecosystem. Absolutely. It's, it's about state governments the, as they carve out their role mm -hmm. in, um, in an NDIS environment. Mm -hmm. It's about the interfaces between health disability, child protection disability, mm -hmm. justice disability. Yeah. Um, There's so much overlap and so much. Absolutely. Education and mm -hmm. disability.